are live. I'm going to give it a few minutes. It's Amy here from Transform at Amy Burke Yoga. I am live from my kitchen, actually. So I'm just going to wait a few minutes to see if anybody pops on. And if not, I'll just get started. And um, if anybody wants to watch it later, uh, just know that it's going to be on there. So I'm just going to wait a few minutes. Beautiful Wednesday afternoon. This is our first um, uh, Wellness Wednesdays. So it's going to be every Wednesday around noon. We'll do a, or I'll do a different segment. And uh, it'll be either something to do a tutorial for yoga or a uh, something to do with tea or nutrition or um, anything at all. So I see somebody popped on. Um, so again, it's Amy from Transform at Amy Burke Yoga and I'm in my kitchen. It's Wednesday and I'm going to, I'm drinking some of the delicious um, ginger dandelion green tea that I actually made yesterday, but I'm just going to show you how to make it. And I'm going to tell you about all the benefits of drinking um, this type of tea. Um, first of all, I just want to mention, I, when I was very young, even I just remember always loving to drink tea. Uh, my grandmother actually introduced me to it way back when I was young and we would have tea together. Um, chamomile, actually it was sleepy time tea and I just loved it. Um, probably to calm me down. Um, which that's what chamomile does is it helps to relax you. But um, since then, I've always loved drinking tea. Tea has amazing benefits. Um, and so this, um, my go-to tea, just to let you know, my go-to tea is ginger tea. I, I probably don't go a day without having at least two cups of ginger tea. And I usually combine ginger and green tea together. Um, so the benefits in this particular blend is um, ginger, dandelion, and green tea. The benefits of ginger are amazing. Um, I will just mention ginger is a blood thinner, so if you do have any blood issues or you're on any blood thinners, you don't want to drink ginger tea or eat ginger too much. Um, but ginger is great for digestion. It is uh, It raises the uh, metabolic rate so you can burn more calories while you are working out or continue burning calories at rest. So that's um, definitely a plus. The other thing that it is, is an anti-inflammatory for swelling of muscles and joints. So if you do work out a lot, ginger is a really great thing to incorporate into your diet. Um, again, it is a blood thinner. So if you have any issues with that, then I highly recommend that you check with your doctor first before drinking excessive ginger tea. Um, the next component in this particular tea is dandelion. I love dandelion. You can um, buy dandelion greens or you can just buy it in a tea. I'll talk about that in a moment. So dandelion is particularly uh, beneficial in the springtime. Um, dandelion is loaded with nutrients and it helps to actually flush the toxins from your liver and it helps the body release fats. So if you think about it, um, like the deer and the, and the animals, like they'll eat these dandelion and clover um, greens that come up naturally in the spring and it's to help flush out their liver because they've been, um, you know, hibernating and uh, eating differently for the winter time. So just like us, we or just like the animals, we too need to do some detoxing. So dandelion is wonderful. And then the other ingredient is green tea. And green tea, as we know, is an antioxidant and it's contiguous considered a pure tea um, because there's no oxidation process. So it's withered and then steamed to prevent oxidation and then it's rolled out to dry. So um, that's, uh, and it, you know, the benefits of green tea, it may improve uh, brain function, it increases fat burning, it's uh, the antioxidants lower the risks of some diseases and cancers um, and it, you know, can help the brain uh, that brain fog. Um, it does have caffeine in it, green tea. However, it has about half the caffeine content that a regular cup of coffee would have. So it's a different kind of caffeine. It kind of leaves you a little more balanced opposed to that jittery coffee caffeine. So um, I'm going to put this down over here. And so again, uh, so there's two ways you can make the, the dandelion tea. You can buy dandelion roots in uh, greens at the grocery store when they're in season. And you would want to put them in a pot of water. This is about the size of a pot of tea that I make. 
it's huge because I make a lot of it and I drink it all day long and then I, I put some in the refrigerator and drink it cool. So there's uh, also, so with the dandelion greens, you would want to um, boil them for several minutes um, and or you can just buy a packet. I love this brand, it's Yogi, Yogi Tea Detox. So that's great. With the ginger, again, you can buy a packet of ginger tea and just go like, you know, just uh, slice or just dip it in the water. Again, you would want to have it boiling water, then put the tea in, or you can buy ginger root. This is what it looks like. You would slice the ginger root, uh, peel it if you want. I just leave it on. I don't even peel half the time. I, if I do, it's not really a perfect peel job. Um, cut it up into slices or chunks, put it in the boiling water with the, with the green tea or with the dandelion tea leaves, and then boil that for a little bit and really let it simmer. And then before, if you're going to make the green tea with this blend, do not put green tea in boiling water. Green tea is, well, it's about 170 to 190 degrees for one to three minutes. So don't put boiling tea, but you would want to like sap the boil, let it rest for a second, then put the green tea in. Um, I love Yogi Tea, the antioxidants, or there's, um, you know, Kirkland brand or whatever you can get your hands on. And then, so you would then let that sit for several minutes. And again, if you make a big pot of it, I have this great little teapot that's wonderful. And so I'll pour it in here. It's available room temperature or warm to room temperature hot all day long. And then I take the rest of it and I put it in the refrigerator and then the next day you can drink it cool, especially if it's a warm day out, it's really refreshing. You can also put lemon in it if you like a little bit of um, lemon. And then if you're going to use honey in your tea, do not put the honey in and then pour the boiling hot water over the, over the top of the honey. So what do you want to do? It changes the, the composition of the honey and the properties of the honey. So what you want to do is um, pour your cup of tea, let it cool just a little bit, then add the honey. And then you'll get all the beautiful properties and um, goodness of the honey. And honey's an amazing um, thing to sweeten your tea with. I don't sweeten my tea. Um, so... That is basically how to make the tea, the benefits of each, the ginger is good for digestion, metabolic rate, the, it's an anti-inflammatory, um, the dandelion is loaded with nutrients and helps to actually flush out the liver, and the green tea is great for a big fill of antioxidants, um, and it uh, also is a fat burner. So that is my little tutorial about how to make um, my Wellness Wednesday, how to make this uh, awesome tea blend. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And every Wednesday we will come with something new, either uh, tea related or yoga poses, how to's, um, little tips and things that might help you on your, your uh, health and wellness journey. Bye.